This is a photograph I took um, somewhere in Snowdown. I can't remember exactly where I was now. Um, so I thought I'd use this as today's painting reference. So I'll just have a quick look at the materials before I start. It's all the usual gear. So I have my palette. Paint's always in the same place. We've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarin crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, and light red. Cotton and watercolours. Got the uh, big Ron Ransom hike water jar there, and it's 15 by 11. And this is smooth press pressed uh, paper, or um, hot pressed rather, which is the the smooth stuff. So a quick look again at the photograph, and then I'll get cracking. So this is my tea towel, put there drying on the top, and I'm just going to use the lid, the big height brush. Just to whip the paper all over, so the sky goes on nice and soft, and it also just stretches it slightly. If you use the thicker paper, this is 130. Now, tell a lie, this is a 140. This is thicker than the stuff I normally use. Um, I normally use the the 130 pound Fabriano, which is a little bit a little bit thinner. Um, now this raw sienna hasn't quite dried, so it was still quite sticky on the palette. But to be honest, I, I, I quite like it like that. I might start using it, I've, I've said before, I might start using it fresh out of the tube. I haven't done it like that for years. I used to, um, when I was watching the Frank Clark videos, I used to use it fresh out of the tube, same way he did. I got tired of just having so much wasted paint when it finished, it all went dry and I used to scrape it off and throw it in the bin. And I used to think what a what a complete waste that was. So I started using it dry on the palette itself. So that's a bit of a ultramarine going into the sky. And I'm gonna do just those distant distant um trees right at the top there Just clean the brush slightly, just to sort of lighten it a little bit. Ultramarine there, just to vary. Just constantly trying to vary the colour as I come down this far hill. And at the back of my mind, thinking, my gosh, I just made this a lot bit lighter in tone, but I, it's too late now. I'm going to mess about anymore. Um, Just using a clean damp brush, just, just to line it slightly. Because there's going to be another sort of layer of trees going there. I just want those to really stand out against this layer. Right at the back. I think that's all I'm going to do for that. So next is some trees going up this near a hillside on the right so I'm going to go lemon yellow, bit of ultramarine, a bit of raw sienna as well. Let's really darken that up, a bit of Payne's grey. That's going down to about there. And then we're going up this hill. There. Right up there. That's going right at the top. 
Just cleaning the brush. Bit of lemon yellow, just a, a bit of variation on this and these greens. Ultramarine. Bit more lemon yellow. And then it's a bit of Payne's grey. all of those in and underneath there is a bit of a bit of grass so into the lemon yellow and just popping the grass in below the tree line a bit of raw sienna lemon yellow paper has stretched a little bit, it's coming away from the board so I want it flat against the board so I'm just going to pull it tight and refix it and then I'll continue there's a there's a wall then just under this under this grass bit so it's got a bit of brown a bit of blue Just a little, don't want to do it too much. That's what I'm going to do for now, I think. Clean the brush. Now on this left hand side now, we've got a There's lumps of raw sienna just coming off the brush there. Just helps create a nice bit of sort of texture. And I'll, um, then carefully don't keep painting over the same bit. Try and leave those little bits. Just keep them looking fresh. Try and you know, as few strokes as possible really. Down there, into a bit of ultramarine. So down here, we've got uh, just a bit of water visible in the photograph. So I'm just going to pop that in there, just leaving little bits unpainted, just to make it look like little ripples or something in the water. Just tiny little gaps. I'm going to clean the brush. into there, keep nice and light, sweep that across, and what we have got is a few I see loads of little fence posts everywhere, so I'm just going to take the little brush. In fact, I think I might have to dry it first. I'm just going to make sure it's flat. Because 
very quick to dry. Slightly. And I'm going to switch to this little, this little flat brush here. Bit of burnt umber, ultramarine, just to get a sort of darkish colour. Imagine the light sort of coming over. Now it's still wet, so I didn't dry it enough. I'm just gonna just, just just drag the bottom of that a bit. So it makes it look like shadows coming across. That's I'm gonna leave that. That's enough things posts, I think. I'm just dabbing now, it's just got like little bits of grass and stuff growing here and there. Just very, very light touch. Very, very light. Need. Might just put a couple of sheet for some of Simple. Just take your little rig of brush and we'll pick somewhere may darkish. I'm just gonna take out sort of oval shape, which will be his body. And add that with a brush. I'll come back to that before I put his head in. For another one over here. Just making it all sort of circular motions and just to loosen the paint and then take it out with a tissue. I'm going to put one more in. Just 
take a dark colour, bit of brown, bit of blue, make a sort of nice sort of black type colour, and then just just like a like a tiny little tiny little triangle for his head, as if he's just bending down and hitting the grass. shadow underneath them. I think I'm going to call that one finished. So all that's left to do now is pop my name down there. I'll even fix this room for a little bird, a little bird in the distance. So let's see what it looks like with the uh, with the mount on. So there's our mounted picture. So if we have a quick look at the photograph to compare it. This was the uh, reference photo. I haven't moved um, too much around compositionally of talking. I did leave out this massive foliage here. This guy is just a simple mix of uh, raw sienna and then a bit of ultramarine over the top of it. The most distant trees, just put in using the same colours. And then these trees, a bit more Payne's grey and edge to make them darker, make them stand out a bit more. All the way down to the bottom of this valley. This land here, I've, I've tried to get a bit of texture in there, a few quick sweeps. You can see the sort of broken painted areas, just adds a bit of texture to the land, makes it a bit more interesting. There's some sort of big dollops of raw sienna here as we work our way down. Just a fleeting glimpse of the water there in the photograph. I've just put it in very simply, you can see I've just, where I've just left again, bits unpainted just to make it look like ripples on the water. these fence posts just put the paint then just sort of flick it with your finger or the bottom just makes it look like the shadows being cast from the posts and then down here got our little sheep just taken out simply just using the uh, the rigger brush just to loosen the paint and take take the paint off with the uh, the tissue and then just a little little triangles for the heads So that's my uh, impression of Snowdonia. Can't remember exactly where. But thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. Keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.